Let's see, third time's the charm. If we can get this working. Since you guys are kind of tired of always looking at my old mug, so at least you got a window to look out of, but uh, fortunately it keeps throwing off the uh, exposure on the camera. But uh, this is going to be a long one. Fair warning. I've been doing my best to cut down these video, my weekly updates, but there is a lot to cover today. <clears throat> Starting off with the most interesting things, uh, Tesla Motors Club 4 member WK057, who is currently famous for hacking the Model S computer system, physical access, uh, required removing part of the dash, so on and so forth. Still an amazing feat, and he was able to get into full factory mode. Uh, he's also famous for taking a number of uh, 85 kilowatt Tesla battery packs from uh, accident vehicles, and now using them in conjunction to with his, I believe, 44 kilowatt hour uh, solar array in his home uh, for off-grid solar. Well, there, is been, there has been a discussion going on Tesla Motors Club and um, about the actual capacity of the 85 kilowatt Tesla battery pack. And it just so happens um, he has had some spare cells. And it just so happens I have a special uh, ch charger that can test, that does both discharge and recharge to test 18650 well, and pretty much any lithium style cell uh, or I can use like little alligator clips if I want. Um, actually have two different chargers. Another one that does uh, just records the amount of power going into it between uh, a series of set voltages and uh, this one that I just showed you has um, discharge, it will discharge in rate and recharge in rate. Plus I'm going to do a slow discharge using a uh, LED module over a period of time, also noting amperages and then get um, amperage draw voltages and then getting a, uh, a benchmark on that as well. So what I am holding in my hands are two, and it's very well packed in here, um, these are two Tesla cells from an 85 kilowatt Model S battery and uh, there is no protection circuitry on these. Reason being is Tesla kind of built that into the whole pack as a whole. And the uh, wires that were originally connecting cells to cell, cell to cell inside the pack also doubled as the, as the fuse. So these are from a car that had about 3,000 miles on it before it was totaled. And uh, currently about two years old. So two years and uh, 3,000 miles. So. Um, these are, and they're currently at a storage um, capacity right now, um, ch charged to a level that are, that's ideal for long-term storage. And he's running out of individual cells, so he sent me two. And I might even be able to get to see him next week. I'll get to that in a few minutes. So I will be testing these and finding out what the exact capacity of these cells are after two, th two years and 3,000 miles of use. Uh, now, my car, battery, life, um, I technically had three packs, only one failure. I can't get into more details than that due to non-disclosure agreements. Uh, but uh, it ends up being that even with all the use that I have on my car, uh, capacity really hasn't been dropping at all. So uh, that will be coming up in future videos. I'm doing a road trip this coming week. So I'm not sure how much I can get done in that time, but I will. I mean, my chargers and, and testers are small, so I'll make this like a mini series. I'm going to have multiple videos on it. So yes, I did ramble on on that, but I mean, like, come on, that's like super interesting. Uh, I mean, get even though there's their age cells, um, right now uh, WK057 um, believes that the Tesla 85 pack might actually only be. Uh, 81 kilowatt hours capacity, but and that the uh, 60 kilowatt hour pack it might actually be 61 kilowatt hours. So, um, while it would be great if I could get a brand new cell straight from Tesla, it's not gonna happen. So, this is the next best thing. 
And also, of course, we will have to take into consideration lifetime and usage degradation since the cells Tesla uses see their most, their most, uh, the largest drop in life in the first year, just due to age, not even use, just age. Um, so that's like a 5 or 10% drop it was supposed to be, even though uh, so far what we're witnessing is considerably better than that. <clears throat> and that was just number one on my list. <clears throat> Don't worry, that's the, uh, that's the longest one that I have. Next, the 90D has arrived in Chicago. It's off the train waiting for a truck to take it from uh, the train yards in Joliet to uh, Highland Park Service Center for prepping, which is uh, awesome. I'm like, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, forget it, because we are supposed to be leaving for a road trip on uh, Sunday, t um, two days from now, um, which I will delay the trip. Uh, won a, uh, a charity auction. I bid on a, uh, a week stay in uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Uh, for those that don't know, and uh, there are two pay vacation packages. That one came up first, but everybody else was holding off to bid on the Disney vacation, which ended up going for five times its value, which is awesome. Charity auction uh, made some good money on that, uh, and instead I got a week stay at a private condo at a nice resort for three hundred bucks. Works for me. So um, I'd like to have the 90D by then because that's going to be a 2,000 mile round trip. And autopilot would be amazing. Plus it would be a great shakedown cruise. Um, so white knuckles waiting for that phone call saying that it's ready for me to pick up. Uh, next, uh, after tax subsidies, the Model 3 could actually end up being only around 25000 Which would be, that's... Yeah, Pretty good price. Obviously, you have to owe taxes to be able to get a tax credit or anything like that. Uh, moving on, uh, just some highlights from uh, the Elon Musk event in uh, Paris. Uh, came to find out. Okay, highlights, highlights. I got a bunch of highlights here. Uh, right now, Tesla's on track for midsummer deliveries for Europe of Model X. The Model 3 fully should be fully autonomous within two to four years. So that's making me wonder if uh, the Model 3 is going to come out right out of the gate with uh, the full autonomy hardware built right in already. The Powerwall, well, is currently being delivered to end customers. Um, they are working on the second generation of it already as well as they are in worldwide testing um, in many different countries. Full coverage of the supercharger network, um, or superchargers, will give full coverage of France uh, by June. So if you're driving anywhere in France, you can reach anywhere in France using just supercharger network. Now, of course, destination charging to get you back to a supercharger is still a, a given. Although France is not that big, it's very tiny. So, uh, might be able to do round trips without needing destination charging. Uh, full mirroring of the iPhone to the center screen is expected by middle of year. So sometime this summer we might see uh, screen mirroring of your iPhone or Android phone. Uh, end of March will be the Model 3 um, debut. Um, I'm still waiting for the exact dates on that too. I'm going to meet up with Bjorn and uh, do the Model 3 event. And then, of course, live broadcast straight from me to you from me of the event. Unless Tesla pulls the plug on those shenanigans. For them. But um, Tesla said they will not be showing everything. So it's only going to be like a... Uh, day view preview. Think of it like, um, example, um, I don't have an example, but they just say they will not be showing everything. So it uh, looks like they will. They have a few tricks up their sleeve and are hoping that the shitty Volt, uh, excuse me, shitty Bolt, B with a, a B as in boy, uh, 
uh, shitty volt, uh, bolt, you know, so they don't get, you know, all the goodies and try and one-up Tesla, which would be very hard to do. Uh, the only thing they could do to one-up Tesla, and it is to old clock, uh, would be to uh, have better reliability. Uh, let's see, next. Looking to place factory in Europe and also a factory in China. Uh, why truck or boat cars all around the world when you could just build them in the general region that you are selling them in? Smart idea. Ta uh, Elon has a goal of a four-hour drive time, on, you know, like uh, road tripping, four hours of drive time on a 15 to 20 minute charge. Uh, so t uh, looks like he's willing or trying to get down charge time even further. Uh, no solar. Someone did ask Elon why not have solar on the roof of the Model S as if this has not been beat to death in discussions. Uh, there is not enough surface area on the roof of one of these cars. Uh, I worked it out once. If you cover every square inch of the outside of a Model S sedan with the most efficient solar panels on the market right now. I mean the most efficient. By the end of the day, you might end up in, I mean, a nice sunny, sunny day, even though it's freezing outside. Don't let the sun fool you. It's like zero degrees out. A nice sunny, sunny day, you might end up with six miles additional range. Uh, while some people might uh, might go for that, I would rather take the extra money that would go into those solar panels and make more efficient batteries to give you that extra range. Anyways, where was I? Uh, let's see. Summon vehicle summoning is not yet legal in the European Union. It might be illegal in certain spots, but. Uh, Tesla's currently holding off in general. Uh, did not mention anything about Asia yet. I am not sure about Asia for summons. I uh, already mentioned it. Uh, Myrtle Beach road trip this coming week. Uh, so that'll be fun. Uh, I'll be doing a number of stops between Milwaukee, Wisconsin and Myrtle Beach. I'll be stopping, of course, in Cincinnati, Ashland, Charlotte, um, Indianapolis, maybe. Don't remember. I'll have to look at the map again. Uh, just to rehash the Model 3, we still do not have an exact event date. I really wish they would get us that date a little sooner because I need to know how to plan item number 16 and uh, item number 16 is I am going back to China uh, probably the beginning of April the first or second week of April just me no boys uh, just for a uh, few days to a week I have enough airline points built up on my American Express cards uh, for eight round trip tickets to Beijing. But I'm only going to be using one. Uh, plus, of course, every time I use points to buy tickets, I get 20% of those points back. So if I factor that in, uh, I might actually have enough for 10 round trip tickets. Or I could splurge all of the points on couple first class tickets hmm. so yes heading back to China uh, unrelated to business as some of you might have already heard in one of my previous videos I am courting a girl um, a friend's niece so you are going to meet in person and as long as I'm there you know I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna meet her parents too don't worry, we're taking things slow, but uh, might as well see if we like each other in person first, because if we do, why continue things? I mean, if we don't, why continue things? So as long as I'm in Beijing, they have tons of superchargers, 
They also have the Beijing Tesla store. Of course, I'm going to stop by there for all of you. And uh, now, since I, will, I am much more prepared this time around, after I got to experience the Great Firewall of China the last time, uh, I have a good number of VPNs set up to go straight to a laptop at my parents' house. They have extremely fast internet access. And uh, that's the same laptop I use for uploading uh, my YouTube videos because I make use of their extremely fast internet. And uh, ooh, what time is it? 2.02. So um, I could even do a bit of a live stream. Hopefully a VPN will hold up, but I will VPN it to that. I also use uh, Keep Solid's uh, VPN Unlimited service. Um, I got in uh, one of their lifetime subscriptions when they first started last year. Lifetime subscription for 39 bucks. Now that subscription's like 300, but they were just, you know, blow out. And uh, that's what saved my internet access for the China, China trip last year. Knock on wood. So, why not do some live stream of China? And uh, that pretty much covers it. Top things off. Last Sunday, Chinese New Year. For those that know what the uh, red envelope is. And in this case, I just have good luck coins. Good luck coins to all of you. So, uh, may everybody's 2016 Year of the Monkey. Yeah, I think it's Year of the Monkey. Uh, be lucky and joyful. And maybe good fortune be in your favor. So, uh, I was going to ask if I have any viewers in China, but I do not because China blocks YouTube. And that's it for this week. Like I said, this was a long one. Hopefully you stuck with me, but I had a lot to cover. And when I have a lot to cover, I got a lot to cover. More updates for China Trip coming soon. And... Of course, Model 3, you see what's coming. I mean, we're only a month away. And I know some people like Bjorn have to get visas to come to the U.S. So, hopefully they tell us soon.